you look at the Streams of Thought series, they've been, you know, kind of what you think, Streams of Thought, right? They're just like a lot of little, you know, Black Thought rhyming for a little bit, not a lot of structured songs. You saw him go through that a little bit more on Volume 2, but still not the same. That was a project he did with um, Salam Remy. He did that with Joint With Him. Mm. And there still wasn't a lot of structure. This is way more structured. It's, it's practically an album. It's way yes. more structured. There's a clear pro-black theme on this album, yep. right? And it's about black consciousness and very pro-black. And it's really good, man. It's really good. I'm going to go off the bat, uh, bat and say this. So Brian has uh, the Benny in his eight, eight and a half range, which I happen to agree with. This is still very early for both of us. We still haven't sat with these projects long enough. I have the Black Thought pretty much in that same range. Same. My only knock really on the Black Thought would be he had, you know, three skits. I didn't know if they really needed it. Now, they fit thematically in the album. There's nothing wrong with them. I don't know if I'm going to necessarily care to listen to them again, but they're not bad. They don't really fit out a theme, but the songs are really good. Uh, I, one of the first songs on the album, um, uh, it's a Prisoner song. I'm forgetting, I'm forgetting State it. Prisoner. State Prisoner. Sorry. I was, about to say I was about to say Prisoner of Thought, and I was like, that's not let, it. Um, let me tell you something about State Prisoner, boy. <laughs> he snapped on that, man. That is a song of the year candidate, period. That yeah. is one of the best songs I've heard this year. Yeah. Honestly. He snapped on that. Um, it got, the, the album flows very nicely. goes into the track Good Morning, which was released before this, with Swizz, Pusha T, and Killer Mike. This was a really good song. I really like that song a lot. Um, there's some other other standouts here. Magnificent, also a really good song. It's Stakem with Schoolboy Q. Um, just, just really a, a, a good album. Uh, overall, there's another song he talks about relationships. Uh, we could be united. United is a really good song too. So this is a lot of this. The last song, Fuel, is really great on the, on on, the, on this Yo. album. Um, Yo, a lot of really good songs, and it was good to see. Almost like Black Thought was in the space with this, of where he really was looking that he had something to say. I didn't even mention Thought versus Everybody, which he dances on too. Uh, um, I, I yeah. totally didn't even mention that. But um, well, we that be, song's been out. Yeah, that song's been out. We, well, we could be good, also really good. There's just a lot of good songs on here, like I said, and Black Thought just around structured themes, good hooks, which is something you didn't get really on Volume 1 and 2 of the Streams of Thought series. So you've got hooks. They're just way more structured songs. I thought the production fit Black Thought really well. His work, he seemed like he had really good chemistry um, with Sean C. on this one. You could tell he really put a lot of work into this one. Um, where it felt with the cohesiveness that Roots albums usually do, but more that it was still his own thing, and that I really liked. So, yo, this is a project I know. I think it, I think in the long term I could see this having higher replay value for me than the Benny, just because of the diverse subject matter. But they're both really good in their own right, and have now moved into a very crowded yeah. hip hip hop best hip hop album of the year field, as we say. I think Brian and I would both say, well, I'm not going to say that because we don't want to ruin future episodes, people, but we have an idea of where, where things are with this, but this has entered and jumbled up what is now, I think, a really good field of five to six albums that you can say are really good. I, I have eight or nine albums that I really like and play a good amount that have, that have come out this year already. And the other day when I was working on stuff on a laptop, I just found myself playing a bunch of them over and over. These two included. Um, Good Morning. I was, listen, I ain't going to lie. When I heard Good Morning uh, again, because I only heard it when it came out and I kind of have forgotten about it because I was like, the album's coming. I don't want to play this too much. I kind of fell into that with Ultra Black. But thank God I heard it when the album came out and I was like, oh, this sounds a lot better sequenced this way, even though I liked it when it came out. I got a little bit nervous when Swiss Beats started like rapping a little bit, and when he petered out after four bars, I was like, "Whew!" I'm like, I, I didn't. <laughs> no disrespect. I don't. I never need the Swiss Beats verse. You don't need sixteen thinking, bars from Swizzy. <laughs> nah, you know what I mean. Like, I like Top Down. I think Nas was on the remix of that. It wasn't GTA Four. That was one of my joints back then. But Always I, I comes usually, back to a like, video. I'm game. cool, but. I do agree. Something I really liked about Bandana was like the skits were part of the songs, so it didn't feel like there were so many skits. Like albums do that. I think Black Dog could have threw Experience, which is a 28 second skit, on the end of Magnificent. You know what I mean? Um, shout out to Portugal, the man, because Jesus Christ, they <laughs> all over this album. Uh, hit uh, three home runs on this. Uh, Schoolboy Q, 
Didn't expect to see a Black Dog Schoolboy Q feature. Didn't know how much I would like it. Stake Em is a song that I actually really like. Yeah, it's really good. On this album. And yo, definitely shout out to Portugal Man Rock Group for people who don't know who now I want to actually go check out their work because I really like the hooks and some oh, of the added production they, they had on there. They had uh, one or two really good songs in FIFA. Not that long. Always comes back to a video <laughs> game. It does, but like they had a couple really good songs in FIFA a while ago, so it it led to me checking them out. So when I saw this collab here, I, you know, I already had some familiar, f- familiarity with their discography, so I was like, oh, this this actually sounds interesting. I'm gonna check them out. I like I like their work in the three songs that they're on this project. I do. Yeah. I like the songs. So they're good. I mean, yeah, it, it does have the skits, but let me say this too. So this is something we've talked about on 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 this show. It's just album length. And how that could factor into how you grade a project. Yes. King's Disease, Burden of Proof, and Streams of Thought, I think, are all 38 minutes and change. I think are all literally the exact same amount, roughly, of 12, 13 songs each project. Conway, I think, might have been a slight bit longer with, like, 14 records or something like that. Um, but, like, this is the – that's, like, the sweet spot for me. 10 to, like, 14 records at most. Um with like, you know, no more than 45 minutes of music. 